Wait, bro. Why am I just creating screens? Why not be thinking about all aspects? Why am I not checking other directions? Why I just focus on turning ideas into visuals? Some very important thing is missing here. Soon I realized that I was letting go one important piece in product design. In daily work life, we often forget that what's our core job is. But don't forget what the name itself suggests that user experience design. Let me take you to a completely different scenario than a digital product design world. Driving a car is so unique experience where you don't really focus on pedals, steering wheels or anything else like that. That is driven by you for sure, but unconsciously. Isn't it mind-blowing experience that you get from the product like a car? So now, think from the other side. That's how you should be thinking. Assume that if I may have designed a dashboard of a car by just focusing on UI screens without considering driver's position in mind, then interaction with a dashboard for a driver would definitely lead to a high anxiety, no? Similarly, creating visuals for a digital product needs in-depth understanding of our experience. Many of us are booking cabs from apps like Ola, Uber. So, from the starting of for booking a cab to reaching to a destination, it's a so immense amount of experience that you get. But for the first time user of this app, it will be mind-blowing experience for them. When they book a cab from their phone and a car driver with a car shows up, isn't it create that wow factor for them? That's right. That's where we value experience more than just screens. Of course, screens are part of the process, but not the only one. When we prioritize experience, there we'll see better picture of users' behavior, their pain point, and also their engagement with the product. And that's how you will crack users' emotion. Now we need to understand how we can focus more on experience at work. If you remember that empathy lesson that you have to put your legs into users' shoes and have to walk for a while. It's time to do it now. Empathizing with the user is a really interesting exercise where you will get a real insights from the person who is using your product. And that is way beyond analyzing the data, discussion in meeting room, and many other activities that you do. If you don't have a user persona for the product of yours, I would suggest make it first. Without that, nothing would add such value. Next step is to think about what exact use case you are solving currently. I hope by now you got to understand it's not screens, it's a use case in the entire experience that you are solving. Don't underestimate the next one. Business is funding your effort so that you can make users life easier and in reward. They want something that helps the ecosystem. That's why it's necessary that you give equal importance to business goal and also provide valuable experience to users. Whether it's a start, mid or end, users' anxieties are always going to vary. So keeping that thing in mind, go ahead with your solution. Better experience will also not help you if users' anxiety will increase drastically at any certain point in the flow for a user. So make sure you channelize users' intent over the period of entire flow. Great. So now you have some more clarity in what is user going through and with what circumstances. First of all, throw your biases out from the window. Never limit your solutions by screens or tools that can be figured out some or the other way later. Take a collective approach where users overall situation is carefully thought through. Or I would say, make your solution so personalized for each of the cohort. Try to leverage diverse design patterns and don't be limited with the current design system as a blueprint. Sooner or later, those design systems will become outdated because all systems are made to evolve over time. Do break this traditional way of designing if that is happening with you. That's not your job, my friend. As a creative person, you are able to think beyond screens. Make things emotionally working more than just mentally. If you can, I mean, your product. Connect with the user emotionally. 
then those users will give you higher retention, better engagement and many other advantages in order to grow your product. Now, question for the video. Why games are end up performing better than high value addition productivity apps? Add your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to watch next video, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you there. I'm getting